what exciting things are coming up for future versions of the Hero Me Master Suite. We discussed this in a recent interview on this channel with Andy Mediaman 3D Soderberg, the creator of the Hero Me Master Suite. This is part of a bigger playlist, which I've also linked down in the description. In those videos, we talk about how the Hero Me Suite came to life, what's new with Hero Me Gen 6, the new part cooling ducts, design principles and compromises, as well as the new monetization of the documentation through Patreon and finally the future of Hero Me, what new things are coming. So let's jump right into the interview to learn about the future of Hero Me. Let's talk a little bit about the future. Uh, what's coming for Hear Me? Because you're probably not stopping at this point. <laughs> yeah. So there is something that uh, I'm working on. I don't have something to show yet. It's still in an alpha stage. I'm still doing my testing, but I'm doing a version of the Hero Me called the Magnet Edition. Mm -hmm. And that one is going to be a Patreon exclusive. It borrows from the Hero Me design shape. The difference is on the back on how the whole Hero Me attaches to the X carriage is going to be connected by four very strong neodymium magnets that mm -hmm. uh, will hold the uh, base and fans to the back and that it's also keyed. So gee, oh, I get magnets. You know that when you put two magnets together, you get slide and slip and all that. Well, the parts are keyed, yeah. so it's locked in place. So there's, it's not going anywhere. And so the only way it can come off is by pulling it off. And so this is something that can be used to get easy access to your hot end uh, for maintenance, et cetera. It's not meant to be a tool changer. That's what things like, you know, the the mutant from Wham Bam uh, and other vendors out there that do tool changers mm -hmm. where you can swap the whole thing I in see. 15 seconds. Uh, but so this all your cables important. are still connected, and you, yeah. I mean, you have easier maintenance access, but that's that's right. basically the yeah. purpose, right? So that's yeah. So this is going to be a version of both the Bowden and the direct drive bases. Mm -hmm. Uh, and the gantry adapters to be uh, a magnet mount. So that's coming out in the next couple of months. Again, I've got 150 parts between all of the bases, direct drives, and all the gantry adapters that mm -hmm. I've got to modify uh, to, to use the magnets that will be uh, embedded in the sides here. Okay, uh, it's, so it's not just the base that you're changing, so the base and the gantry adapter, but yeah, is there other yeah. things that you have to change? Uh, no, that's that's it. The base and the gantry adapter for, for the magnet edition is the only yeah. thing uh, that changes. I thought about and did some experimenting about, gee, would I do that for like the uh, 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 a BL touch or a CR mm -hmm. touch or uh, another? And, and no, I found that it's, it's not really appropriate uh, for that because you need to be able to adjust that BL touch Mm -hmm. up and down to your particular hot end setup and the magnet system is not going to make that possible so yeah that's 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 not possible that's that's probably something that would be really hard to achieve and i, I mean the, the main purpose i guess is to get access to the hot end or to the yeah. uh, cooling and, block and, basically and the cool yeah. thing is is i got really lucky is that um in fact i've got some of the magnets right here mm -hmm. um oh, they're stronger um <laughs> that um these things are sized such that it will fit in my current design at the back so mm -hmm. nothing none of the geometry of this had to change uh, i just had to redesign these back parts to be able to mount the magnets in it and mm -hmm. so all the existing fans direct drives other stuff all uh and hot ends all nothing changes about that it's just the these two points I I can imagine like the getting the magnets like since uh, since they probably have a specific size. We have the metric system here, so probably yeah, well, everything I, is different. Everything, like... to me, everything to me is metric. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what, what do you think? Like, how, where would we source these magnets from if we so, would um, want to build? Yeah, you know, a Amazon sells magnets, and they claim they've got neodymium magnets. They don't. They're just glorified refrigerator magnets, you know, for okay. taking something off. No, these are sourced from uh, commercial suppliers that do sell to retail, um, that do have a typically a minimum quantity of 12 or 24 magnets mm -hmm. you have to buy. There is a vendor I've got in the U.S. lined up. I will be um, looking at vendors in Europe as well, and, and, one, and one in Asia, one in Europe, one in the U.S. I'm not going to share the size of this yet because uh, I don't want, I've had actually had, because when I was prototyping, I was using disc magnets, more and smaller disc magnets. And in my early prototyping, while it was fine for a Bowden setup, when you go to uh, direct drive, you've got to be able to hold much more weight. And so yeah, I, sure. I went to the bar magnets, which more than almost tripled the amount of weight 
that these can hold versus the, mm -hmm. the disc magnets. They they are um, readily available, they're standard, and like I said, I've got some homework to do to, to find uh, the vendors in, in Europe. I've got some uh, great contacts with some designers in England and in Germany that I'm working with that are going to help me, you know, find the places that they, they know to get suppliers. I see. Are we talking to anyone uh, about a commercial release of uh, like some pre-production uh, pre production parts, uh, like pre-printed parts or pre-assembled parts? So yeah, fancy you should say that. Um, there's been many discussions. In fact, there's been discussions about taking the base and doing it in aluminum, milled oh, aluminum. I see. And have it all pre-drilled and everything. Mm -hmm. So that's been discussed along with doing the gantry adapters in uh, aluminum stamped uh, there's nothing that really could properly be pressed it, it's more of uh in the case of this it would be cnc milled uh, mm -hmm. and, and the gantry uh, adapter would be similar to x carriages we have now where it's an aluminum sheet that's folded and 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 mm -hmm. pulled out um i've had discussions on that i have uh, interest from one company that sells peripherals in the 3D space. No deals are done yet. Um, we're still in the thinking stage of that. What I am doing parallel, though, is that there's a website called QB3D, and that's C-U-B as in boy, E-E, -E, so it's B as in uh, a buzzing mm -hmm. B, so QB3D.com, and that's a, a marketplace where someone who doesn't own a 3D printer can go and pull from a library or they can even bring their own SDLs they found mm -hmm. and it's local printing. So you can find someone who has 3D printer services, someone like me or even a business yeah. that's local to you to print it out at, at a reasonable price. Additionally to that though, from this perspective is that creators who have their own designs can upload those to the library and then charge a commission or a, or a licensing fee for a buck or two bucks or three bucks. I see. Yeah. And so I'm going to be putting all uh, over time, it'll take a while, the Hero Me parts on QB3D such that, gee, somebody um, in Italy could go to that website, find the parts that they want, request a quote from someone near them in Italy mm -hmm. and have it uh, be low. Because again, the problem is shipping. It's about you know the cost to shipping. So the yeah. closer you can get someone you know, even to come and pick up is going to save a lot. So uh, that's a way that I'm going to, you know, uh, be, people will be able to get pre-printed parts, whether it be from me or elsewhere, but they don't have to get it from me. They can get it from any maker. And and when you post these, I also put in the, the print specifications, the, the layer heights, there's a bunch of profile stuff that so that the person who's printing this part who may never have printed it before is going to do the right thing to print it correctly. I can imagine, like, if you only have one printer and it's kind of broken, <laughs> then it's probably pretty hard to print uh, a new oh, upgrade. Yeah. So I, I think it's a the, great idea to the offer first, this. The first as jobs option. that I got from QB3D was someone was building a Voron, but they didn't have a printer to print the parts. And so <laughs> he was sending parts orders to me to print the, the, the plastic parts he needed for his Voron kit. I'm currently building a little 3D printing business like on the side, uh, besides the, the fact that I'm running this YouTube channel. So uh, it's going well, but like I forced myself into this journey and I've, you saw it and upgrading my printers was absolutely necessary to get more reliability. So uh, running a print shop, making money with 3D printing, I think that's a topic, it's a whole topic on its own. Yeah, so absolutely. if you, uh, we could probably talk about it <laughs> uh, on another occasion, but I, I think it's a total different topic. It requires requires a lot more work than people yeah. can probably imagine. And, and, and I mean, it's it's a great thing, but you're now physically, you know, building things and shipping them off. And while I I have it, it's not a primary thing. It's for me, it's a secondary thing. I would rather right. do the design work. I also do uh, commercial 3D design work. I was uh, involved in the uh, design of the mobile plate for the Wham Bam Mutant. So, uh, you know, I've done commercial 3D design work mm -hmm. as well. So that, that's where I think my value add is, is, is on, the, on the design side. That was part seven of my interview series with Andy Soderberg about the Hero Me Suite. If you want to learn more about how I use the Hero Me Suite on my end of printers and other upgrades, watch this playlist here and I see you in the next video. Bye.